botched lethal injection in Oklahoma has sparked a new debate over capital punishment. And now one Utah lawmaker says he wants to bring back what he says is a more humane form of execution, the firing squad. Brian Yenis has more from our New York newsroom. This one is an interesting one, Brian. It is. Hi, Julie. In that botched lethal injection case in Oklahoma last month, convicted murderer Clayton Lockett's execution by lethal injection failed due to a collapsed vein. He died 43 minutes later of an apparent heart attack and in apparent pain. Well, now Utah State Representative Paul Ray wants to introduce legislation in January reinstating the firing squad as a secondary option to lethal injections, saying the firing squad is more humane, offering a quicker death than lethal injections. Ray telling the Associated Press, quote, the prisoner dies instantly. It sounds draconian. It sounds really bad. But the minute the bullet hits your heart, you're dead. There's no suffering. Utah eliminated executing inmates by firing squad in 2004 thanks to public pressure. The last execution coming in 2010 when Ronnie Lee Gardner was shot and killed by five police officers armed with 30 caliber Winchester rifles. Now, proponents of the firing squad note that lethal injections have been botched at a higher rate than any other method of execution. In January, an inmate in Ohio was given the wrong dosage and was snoring 25 minutes into the process. Ray also says European drug companies are refusing to sell their lethal drugs to jails in the U.S., forcing states to try different lethal concoctions they haven't even tried before. But opponents believe firing squads could cause suffering. Inmates could move or shooters could miss their target, causing a slow and painful death. Many states have alternative methods to uh, lethal injection. Some states still retain the gas chamber as an alternative. Some states still retain electrocution as an alternative. I just don't see it that uh, the firing squad uh, is going to sweep the country as the way to put people to death. Again, Ray wants this as a secondary option. Since 1976, just three people, all in Utah, have been put to death by firing squad in the U.S. In that time, more than 1,150 have died from lethal injection. Julie? Brian Yenis, interesting. Thank you so much.